Hey everyone, Doc's back, doing a special edition of my video blog from uh, my phone. Um, I have the Palm Pre, and I just want to do a shameless plug real quick, um, because Palm stock dropped 20% the other day. It's one of the biggest drops uh, in the past like two years, and mainly because they haven't met sales that they said they or that they predicted they were going to meet. So a lot of investors are freaking out and. Uh, mainly I'm plugging it because I want people to buy it so uh, Palm doesn't die and then I lose support for my phone. So uh, if uh, anybody out there is looking to get a smartphone, um, the Palm has really great multitasking. Uh, you can you know be on the phone, mess with the internet, and um, you know do other things all at the same time. Check your email, and it's very seamless. Uh, check out reviews online uh, and see some stuff about the functionality. Um, but that's it for, uh, for Palm. Otherwise, uh, I'm in Palm Coast this weekend, and this is my cat Chingy right here. How you doing, Chingy? Yeah, he's cute. Um, so I'm in Palm Coast this weekend because, um, for those of you who know me, my, I've been without a car for a few months, and for anyone who's had the, uh, who's been fortunate enough to be my friend, has probably had to drive me around a few times and pick me up places, and, um, so I finally have a car, though. Uh, that's why I came back, and I expect to be the taxi for the next few months to pay my debts, but otherwise, um, the last car I had uh, was a Toyota Celica 1987, real hung, uh, piece of junk, um, and it had, a, it had a bunch of different names, actually, because of the sounds it made. Uh, the actual name of the car, uh, we call it the Herky jerky, cookity clackity, squeakity squawkity, runs like shit mobile. So every single one of those things has uh, something to reference it to the personality of the car. Um, the herky jerky, uh, the car was manual, and um, if you popped out the shift too quick when you were, uh, or the clutch too quick when you were shifting, then the car would rock vigorously back and forth. Wah 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 wah. Her, you know, herking and jerking. Um, without getting too much into all the other stuff. Um, I just want to show you uh, this new car that I got. And uh, so, uh, is everyone ready, T? They are? You sure? All right, we got T's approval, so let's go check it out. Um, so first of all, um, I'm going to start off with a car, showing you a car that I think has um, what I would like to call a sex appeal. And that would be my dad's El Camino. Look at this thing, this thing's nice. You got these really nice wheels. You got the pretty pimp interior. I'm not gonna be able to get inside, but you could use some restoration, but it's it's very nice. You got the trunk space. You know, it's got everything. So now I'd like to show you my car, which has what I like to call the opposite of sex appeal, and that is the Lumina. This thing, <laughs> this thing is looking kind of, kind of bad right now. Uh, I'm still cleaning it. Um, but, the, however, this thing does have features that my last car lacked as far as picking up lady friends. So, to show you some of these features, uh, we'll give you a demo. Um, so, uh, the first thing to show you that my last car lacked is the cup holder. Check that thing out. Okay, my last car did not have a cup holder. And uh, the first girlfriend I have in this thing is going to be highly impressed. Um, you know, cause you know, I'll take her to Steak and Shake or, um, Sonic and then she'll come out and be like, oh, you know, where am I going to put my milkshake? Oh, uh, right there. You know, it's got the, the foam grips. So, you know, you can get smaller cups in there. It's got the platform at the bottom, but really solid base. So the cup's not going anywhere. It's built really well. And on top of it, you know, you can hide it. So that's really clutch. The second feature that this car has, which my last one did not, is uh, air conditioning. So my car did have the knobs and everything, you know, they all turn. But the thing is, is this one actually works, and my last one didn't. You know, so I don't know if you've been in Florida during the summer, but during the summer, you know, it gets to 90-something degrees here, and the humidity sticks at like 90%, so it gets really thick. And it gets really hot, you know, it's, it gets smoldering here, especially when you have the windows up all day and then you get out uh, in the afternoon and you get into your car and you're just sweating, just immediately sweating. And, uh, that, you know, I'd have to always bring a change, an extra shirt in my car 
just so that I could change when I got to wherever I was going because it just just stuck. It really sucks. But now the last feature, which is something I didn't think that I would really need or that um, I would really be looking for, but this thing could possibly seal the deal. So you're riding home, okay? I've just taken my girl to Sonic. You know, it's a hot summer day and I've got the AC cranking and things are going good, you know? We got, um, we got a really nice shake, tastes really good. You know, and I'm really trying to make the move. And the last thing to seal the deal, oh, son, pop up the armrest. Look at all this space now. There's no, there's no barrier. There's nothing here to restrict the, our, our, um, our sentimental, uh, you know, loving our, <laughs> our, our, um, our bonding. You know, she just comes right in. You know, get a, get a nice arm around. Just be like, hey, you know. It's very, very sleek, uh, very classy. So that is um, uh, my Ford Lumina. And uh, in many ways, it's better. Uh, one thing that sucks is the radio doesn't work. My last car, the radio worked. However, this car does have an antenna. The last one broke off in a car wash, forgot to put it down, went through the car wash, ripped it right out. So my dad told me to put a hanger in the <laughs> to, to to pull out a wire hanger and stick it in the thing to replace it and i'm i'm like somebody's gonna see that and they're just gonna they're just gonna laugh so hard that they're gonna yank it out and then they're gonna key it you know they're they're gonna scratch scratch my car with a hanger just because like look at this fucking asshole who tried to put a hanger as his antenna so this thing does have the radio however it does not work unfortunately so but i'll replace that unit get something in here to get the music going and then you know i'll be picking up girls in no time however um that is the end of my video for today uh, i will get to fruit loops next time and um with uh with my investigation and i will talk about number seven next time and uh that is all and i will see you later bye